Hello and welcome to BlenderTutor.com. My name is Tom Latvies, and this is the first tutorial in the Blender Bootcamp series. In this tutorial, we're going to go over organization basics for a Blender project. So uh, let's get to it. Before we start into Blender, I want to just go over a little about organization in general. Because uh, when I first started in Blender, most tutorials I watched didn't really talk about organization. They just got straight to the point, which is good. You don't want to take too long, but I didn't really get into any good habits of saving my work properly, naming things, you know, <laughs> knowing where they were even saved in the first place. So before we get into the uh, technical tutorials, I want to just go over organization really quick. So let's create a new folder for our first project. So uh, I just create a folder for every project that I start and I just name it whatever that project's gonna be. So we'll just call this my first project. And from there, uh, we're gonna organize it a little further. So we'll create another folder inside of here. Call this uh, Blender Projects. So this is where we're gonna save our project files. We will create another one, call that textures. Um, create another one for reference photos. And then one more for our renders. So right there, that's, you know, already a fantastic starting point for anyone, especially beginners, because you're going to clearly be able to find everything that you're looking for. You're going to know where to save it so you're not just saving things randomly to your desktop or to random folders in your, you know, documents folder or something. You're going to be able to clearly know where everything is. And you know what? Even from here, this is just a random folder on my desktop. I would say you should even have a, you know, Blender Projects folder on your desktop which I already have one, so it's not letting me create, but, so we'll, projects two. So, that way, you can throw all of your project folders in there, so you can just find them very easily. Um, I actually already do this, and uh, even more helpful for me, which I would recommend, because it's free, is uh, using Dropbox, you could quickly uh, create, you could share your uh, projects among computers, which uh, I switch between two to three computers on a daily basis. And it's just very useful to have all my, you know, project files everywhere I go. So I'd recommend doing that. And uh, from here, let's actually get into Blender. So, First off, you're going to need to download Blender if you haven't already. You go to blender.org, and there's going to be a link right at the top right of the screen. Download Blender. If you go here, you're going to find, you know, the, the main versions of Blender for the main three operating systems. So download whatever you need, install it, and when you open up Blender, it's going to look something like this. This is Blender 2.64. Um, you're going to have this little splash screen. And when you click past that, you're going to have basically this starting scene. You're going to have a cube, you're going to have a lamp, and you're going to have a camera. So before we get into any deeper than that, uh, I want to already get into saving your project file. So let's go to File, Save, or uh, you can just hit Control S. And I'm going to go to my desktop, find my folder that I just created. So I have my Blender Projects 2, and my first project, Blender Projects. And then let's just uh, name this. So I'll say my first project 01. I usually put a number after it in case I, you know, want to create another version of it. If I want to change like one thing or something, I'll, or if I just want to start from scratch but keep it in the same folder. That way I could uh, easily do that. 
So now that I've saved, I have my new file path. I know exactly where to find it if this crashes or if I shut down my computer and need to find it later or if I come back in a month and I want to find it again, I'm going to know exactly where it is. Um, from there, I just want to discuss quickly um, saving in general. Um, obviously, we haven't done anything yet, but once you start working on a project, you're going to want to make sure you save pretty consistently because you could very easily, you know, make a sem even a semi-complex scene, something could go wrong and if you haven't saved in 5 minutes, Blender's going to crash and you're going to lose all of that work. In 5 minutes doesn't sound like a lot, but that is actually a lot of work depending on what you're doing. So, just Make sure, you know, just control S, save, go up here, file, save, do whatever you need to do, but just make sure you save often so you don't lose any work. And uh, from here, I'm going to say that is the end of this tutorial in organization. Next, we're going to go over navigation basics in Blender. Thanks.